Code of Ethics uh, I was talking about. Uh, code of Ethics is uh, when you register a, as a PMI member, uh, uh, Code of Ethics will be available to you and uh, it is very much there in uh, PMI website. You can download it or uh, this, uh, this also in turn, you know, this gives you better idea of uh, this uh, uh, presentation that I'm walking you through. Okay. So, Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct, uh, this is from PMI for uh, project management professionals. So, it has uh, four values, so four core values uh, for, to the ethics and standards for project managers. That is responsibility, respect, fairness and honesty. So, responsibility is uh, as a project manager, you have a level of responsibility based on organizational structure. Okay. So, it is PM's duty to take ownership of the decisions he makes or fail to make. If you are not making a decision and if something goes wrong, as a, according to code of ethics and professional conduct, you are responsible. So, uh, don't get too much uh, intimidated, intimidated by this, but essentially uh, these are uh, applied to the, uh, while you, you know, you are conducting project and uh, essentially we will be communicating with all the stakeholders all the time, right from uh, project uh, uh, customer, then your sponsor, higher management, your team and so on. So, you have uh, certain responsibilities towards uh, while doing the project management and that's what uh, you Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct talks about and the questions are based on uh, some situation which will occur as a part of uh, project management and uh, they will essentially these kind of uh, four core values uh, will come into the effect, responsibility, respect, fairness and honesty. So, he has duty to take ownership of his actions, uh, everybody has to and or lack of actions uh, and finally it is a duty to take ownership of the result of those decisions and actions. Okay. So, aspiring to responsibility expectation, basically your uh, project manager need to aspire to towards the responsibility as follows. He need to make decisions that, that don't adversely affect the best interest of the society, public safety and environment. He should only accept assignment that mesh with his background, experience, skills and qualification. Need to keep their promise. PMs take ownership of and accountability of their errors, omissions and make quick and accurate corrections. When errors are discovered, PMs are to communicate them to proper parties and to act to repair those errors immediately. PMs protect proprietary and confidential information. PMs uphold the code of ethics and professional conduct and hold others accountable to it as well. So, <clears throat> as a part of it, uh, errors can happen, but uh, he should be uh, prudent enough to accept those and uh, make the corrections as and when required uh, and ideally follow the uh, responsibility expectation uh, from code of ethics and professional conduct. So, adhering to mandatory standards, he has a response, responsibility towards, he has to deal with regulations, law, contracts and other mandatory requirements in a project. So, he has mandatory responsibility to adhere to regular, regulatory requirements, usually coming from uh, government or standards body and laws. Uh, PMs uh, adhering to this con code have mandatory responsibility to report uneth unethical or illegal conduct to management and those affected by the conduct. PMs are required to bring valid fact driven validations, violations of the code of ethics and so uh, if you are just bringing you know uh, subjective thing uh, to the uh, uh, to PMI for resolution, uh, it will not be acceptable, you need to be fact driven and valid. So, disciplinary, uh, disciplinary action should commence for project managers who seek to retaliate against a person raising ethics violation concerns. So, uh, they may be uh, subjected to or uh, their certification can be revoked in case you know such uh, uh, incidences are observed wherein uh, 
person raising ethics violation and a project ma manager is trying to seek retaliation. Uh, you know, so those are the adhering to mandatory standards. Adhering to respect values, uh, respect in PMI code of ethics and professional conduct cent centers not only on the respect we deserve as PM, but also mainly towards the respect that others are due through their work and contribution to our project. Okay, respect in project management also is aimed towards our respect for environmental environment we operate within. We operate in. Aspiring to respect, there are there are four standards uh, for respect. Learn about uh, the norms and customs of others. Avoid behavior that others may find find annoying, disrespectful. Uh, listen to others, seek to understand their point of view and opinion, don't avoid people that we have conflicts or dis disagreement with, approach them in an attempt to resolve our differences, confront them essentially um, and resolve the issues, if at all. Conduct ourselves professionally, even when those we deal with don't act professionally. So uh, these are the uh, you know, code of ethics and professional conduct towards aspiring to respect. So project manage, managers, uh, so mandatory values of respect are project managers negotiate in good faith. Project managers don't influence decision of personal for personal gain at the expense of others. Project managers are not abusive towards others. Project managers respect property rights of others. So fair project manager, so another core value. Uh, so in this, uh, he he, need, he take decisions and act impartially and objectively. Uh, so being fair is very important. Should treat people equally. Uh, void of com competing self-interest, prejudice, and favoritism. Okay. Uh, so aspiring to fairness, uh, the important points are PMs demonstrate transparency in decision making. They constantly must be impartial and objective and take corrective actions when appropriate. They provide equal access to information to those who are authorized to have information and make opportunities equally available to all qualified candidates. So these are the mandatory uh, standards of fairness, uh, which I think important we don't hire or fire, reward or punish or award or deny contract based on personal consideration, such as favoritism, nepotism or bribery. So, always apply the rules of the organization without favoritism or prejudice. So these are the you know, some of uh, important uh, uh, standards for mandatory standards on fairness. Being an honest PM is being truthful in conversation and action. It means PMs should not over promise. So if you are, uh, what are the important points in aspiring to honesty, being truthful in communication and conduct, <laughs> providing accurate and timely timely information, uh, providing commit, provide commitments and promises in good faith, strive to c create an environment where others feel safe to tell the truth, uh, living honesty requirements, uh, we do not, uh, PMs do not engage in or condone behavior that is designed to mislead others. This includes but not limited, limited to uh, creating misleading statements, fa false statements, starting half, stating half, half truths, providing information out of context, uh, with withholding information that if known would render PM's statement as false. So that's about uh, being honest. Uh, do not engage in dishonest behavior with intention of personal gain at, uh, at the expense of others. So going to the next slide. That's all. So we saw the four tenets, uh, the four core values, uh, responsibility, respect, fear, and honesty. So uh, these are the values, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, that uh, we are, uh, you know, as uh, when we sign up or become pro, uh, PMP certified, we uh, are abiding by this, we are signing for this uh, code of ethics and professional conduct essentially. Okay. towards responsibility, respect, fairness, and honesty. 